What's going on guys? In today's video, we are going to be reviewing Fuel Cakes by Rob Lipset. So if you don't know who Rob Lipset is, essentially he's a really big fitness influencer on YouTube. He's got like over 500,000 subs and Instagram, so he's got massive following on there. And he recently created his own basically protein pancake brand, which is called Fuel Cakes. And today we're going to be reviewing it and giving our honest opinion on the product, if it's actually worth it and should you actually buy it or not. So to make it quite a fair and transparent review, I've got my girlfriend here. Do you know anything about Rob Lipset? No. She doesn't really know who he is. She doesn't really care who he is. But I'm a big fan of him because I've been watching him back in the machine fitness days. So to make it transparent, Amy's going to give her thoughts as well. And she doesn't really know anything about him anyway. So that makes it fair. Okay, first off, we're going to start off by reviewing the packaging of this product. So this is the this is the style that he's kind of gone for. And what are your thoughts? Um, I'm not really sure. I mean, I think he's gone for like a vintagey pancake kind of American style vibe um, but I'm not really sure about like the pink doesn't really work for me I think it's a bit it's not like a bright pink but then it's not like a pale pink he's like in between so I think it just makes it look a bit cheaper but what I do like about the packaging is the back the information on the back I like how he's kind of split it down of like how to make it and then obviously the serving information I think the the information on the back's really good. Okay, that's cool. That's interesting because I actually do like it. I do like the appearance of it because it kind of grabs my eye in the color scheme. I personally do gravitate to. I really like the back how Pacific it is and tells you exactly how much milk to use, the eggs and different protein servings per, if you just use water with it or you just use an egg, etc. So yeah, the next thing we're gonna cover is the price point of this product. This product is gonna set you back by eight pounds but the only thing about this £18 price tag is there's another brand that I think he's trying to compete against is the Kodak Kicks. And for this, it's, more than, it's less than half price. So we got £8 for this one, we got £18 for this one. So what are your thoughts on the price as a consumer? Um, I think that's really, really high. Like if I saw these two products on the shelf in the supermarket, I would naturally be drawn to this one anyway from the packaging but then obviously if I saw that this one was eight pound this one was 18 pound um without kind of like looking into the protein and stuff I would naturally obviously pick this one up and think oh well I might as well try this one first because it's eight pound um obviously I don't know anything about the people behind the brand um whereas you kind of do but I think just this packaging anyway looks better and obviously if, if it's cheaper then I'd rather pick Mm, I get what you mean, and even me, me even me myself, uh, even though I'm a big Robert fan, like paying double the price for like I can get two of these, yeah, and for like, like, yeah, for like come on, but <laughs> that price range is pretty high. I'm sorry for like was it three grams, four grams of protein extra. It, it this needs to taste freaking awesome. If it doesn't taste awesome, like the price keep the price is way too high. But anyways, let's get these pancakes made. Let's finish cooking up the pancakes. So they cooked pretty damn well, as you can see. I'll put up a bit of a clip so you guys can see the end product of the pancakes. But now we're gonna do a taste test of these pancakes right now. We're gonna give it a rating out of 10. And then we'll let you guys know if we, re if we actually recommend you buying these pancakes or not. Okay, you ready? Yeah. So we're gonna try them without any like syrup or anything first. Then we'll throw some syrup on, see how it actually tastes. Okay, so. You ready? Yeah. Uh, fill up. Three, two, one. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're trying some syrup. Bear in mind, I thought, I thought, bear in mind, I did follow the instructions to the T as well, so. So we're going to try it with some syrup and see how it actually tastes with some syrup on top of it. Hmm. What do you think? They're bland, aren't they? Hmm. Okay, so we're going to give it a score out of 10. How would we think? Then we're going to go 3, 2, 1. Then yeah, we're gonna say our score at exact at the exact same time. So you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, seven oh. out of ten. Oh shit! <laughs> Four. Yeah. Yeah, quite, yeah, that was quite modest, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, seven. Hmm. Hmm. Seven is quite high, to be fair. Okay, yeah, four's a bit low. Four is a bit low as well. <laughs> maybe Christ. Five, maybe five, six. Six. We'll put a six. I'll say like six. 
Yeah, we're gonna go for like a six out of ten. Cause four, four is pretty low. It's not like that. It's not like tragic. Yeah, it's not really bad, but it didn't taste like anything. No, it's not the best, is it? It's not. It's not a thing compared to. No. So we, I've already tasted these before, and Amy has tasted mm -hmm. these as well. And uh, I'd say they're both they're both as bland. <laughs> they're, both, they're both probably not the best <laughs> pancakes you're gonna get, and oh, it's a bit of a shame because I was kind of yeah. looking forward to these, but for eighteen pound, I'm sorry, but nah. I think like if you can't make pancakes yourself yeah like if yeah. you're like terrible which i mean i'm horrendous at cooking anyway so like mm. for someone like me that wants something quick and easy that's ready made and you just want to get your protein in then i think these are fine but i think if you really want to enjoy your food and get your protein in mm. i think you're better off just making your own pancakes or following a different recipe and doing it from scratch yeah so i'd say this is definitely for someone if you're essentially crap at cooking and you like can't <laughs> and, you, and you can't make like protein pancakes yeah. and stuff like that and, or any kind of protein item then yeah these these are for you we'll give it like middle range yeah. i think like a six and a five and a half five and a half like five i want to say six <laughs> anyway we're gonna go six out of ten like uh, but then again is that a fair justification because it's on the nice. other ones and these ones when i reviewed these ones i gave these ones a quite high rating yeah but they're cheaper so like you would you kind of expect them to be a bit more bland. Okay, like, yeah. You're paying £8 for them. You don't mind them being a bit rubbish. So if you want something that's really low in calories yeah. and you don't, really, you don't really, you don't really mind the taste, these are for you. But if, <laughs> if you want to spend like a lot of money, I, if you don't want to spend a lot of money, I don't really recommend these. It's based on the price. The price just mm. brings it down completely. Because at that price point, I expect something that's banging like an yeah. awesome. So yeah, that's it for the video, guys. Um, hope the review wasn't too harsh and... <laughs> Yeah, that's that is that is it. Just our opinion. You might yeah. you might think completely different. So yeah, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Like, share, comment, subscribe. We will catch you soon.